We got the initial help from the University of Hong Kong. They carried out a massive hydrogeological survey of entire surrounding area, which included study of Western Ghat rain pattern, impact of climate change and thereby rising sea levels. They also studied the high flood lines of various watersheds and rivers surrounding the site. The report came in as a conclusion that even in a worst of the cases, on a cases where 70 to 100 year projection of climate change, sea level rises or rainfall intensity, site proved to be a safe. When it came to internal development of township stormwater design, we had certain challenges in terms of uh, acute slopes. There were streams at the sites which were flowing across the site. We looked at various strategies which were like creating a check dams, creating enough attenuation or a storage in terms of various ponds, implementing rainwater harvesting strategies which included massive network of swales which allows for natural rainwater population and thereby making sure that natural topography is unaltered, natural resources are unaltered and still make the site safe. The sun path is always going to be from east direction to the west direction. These hills are not dry to impact here. One because of distance, second because of the sun path analysis. So, from the sun path analysis, these are the phase of the sun that comes in direct sunlight, they can be hit up. So, that's why the hit island effect ये जितने भी सरफेसेस हैं, उसीले आप ये एरिया में सबसे ज़्यादा ग्रीनरी देख रहे हैं। The wind flow analysis was done for the various cluster of the buildings located at a different plinth level. The analysis was done for all three yearly conditions: summer, monsoon, and winter. The orientation of buildings were decided based on the wind flow studies to make sure that all the towers they do get the cross ventilation and enough wind flow across the year. The process did not end there. We wanted to see that all these ground floor apartments really derive or achieve benefit of microclimate from the green spaces or water bodies we were thinking to create. Extensive microclimate studies were done for ground floor apartments and the study showed that ground floor apartments or ground floor levels really got benefit out of the whole microclimate created by the green spaces. 